Sure. This is Chiara for the Hot Corn Italy. Cool. Um, I would like to know when you first were approached with this project, mm. what was your reaction? Did you know Dora? What was your relationship? Um, I knew Dora really well because I have a daughter who's 12 now, but when she's younger, like three, four, she watched Dora every day for like three years. So I knew <laughs> Dora very well. Um, and so it's that great thing about a character. And also, I think Dora is sort of bigger than the show. Like even people who don't know the show know who Dora the Explorer is because she's on lunchboxes or T-shirts. She exists in the world. And so you kind of know she's a smart girl who speaks both English and Spanish and educational and kind of upbeat and positive. So I think that when I saw the script that my friend Nick had written and she was going to be 16, but the same, that was funny because it means that you have a character who is this girl who is super upbeat and positive and doesn't believe in herself and is unlike any other teenager today. Most teenagers today are like social media, terrifying, you know, the world's like a hard place and like I've got to be cool, got to fit in. And Dora doesn't care about that. She just is completely different. And so if you take her out of the jungle, and put her in the real world, that is going to be funny. And that's refreshing. That movie. <laughs> and also it's refreshing because it's like, you don't see it very often that people are, you know, and she's not, quick, she doesn't really undercut herself. She's very honest and she's just a, she tries to be true to herself, which is great. Right, as you said, it's, she's such a strong, positive yes. character. And through the film, we can see lots of positive messages. Good. Um, but if you had to say like in a, in a sentence, what <laughs> do, would you say this movie is about? I think it's being true to yourself. That's the most important. I mean, obviously, it's been said a lot of times, but Dora is a great example of being true to yourself because she understands that she's different, but she doesn't care. She doesn't try to fit in. And as a teenager, the great pressure is just to be like everybody else or try and be cool. And Dora is not interested in that. <laughs> she just knows what she likes and wants to be herself. And I think that's a, great, that's a very freeing idea that you can do that and get, be fine. And that's what's good about her going back to the jungle because the kids that go with her learn from her. Like, she can learn from Diego about friendship, but the other kids learn from her about living in the moment, being true to yourself, learning about the world. The world's a magical place. It's not all about, you know, fantasy. It's about reality of the world. The world's a magical place. And also, that together you're stronger sometimes. Right, together you're stronger, exactly. And that's what Dora kind of learns about friendship. She's great, but she needs people too in her life. And, but she's also an icon for cultural exchange. For sure. Yeah, because so she, she does... She's educational in the past, and for us too, it's very important because Latin American culture is not just about Spanish and English; it's also also about um, indigenous culture. Like the Quechua language, the Inca language we use throughout the movie is super important because it's kind of Isabella herself is half Peruvian, so she speaks Quechua, which is very helpful because it's about the cultural exchange of South America as a whole. And that choice, I'm curious to know, that she, when she breaks the fourth wall and yes. she just refers to the audience <laughs> sure. directly, but why did you want to do that? Like because it's the show. And I think the show is why we're here. Why we exist is because of Dora the Explorer, the TV show. And so I felt that we'd have to pay tribute to that. And we do it several ways. One, by matching the grammar of the show. We have an opening title sequence, which is like the show. And also halfway through the movie, we have an animated sequence where the characters themselves become like the TV show. And that was kind of... A fun way of like tipping the hat and saying thank you for those guys for that show. I guess it was fun for you as yeah, well. Yeah, it was really fun director. because it's like, yeah, because it's a fun. And also, again, it's one of those jokes that works on a number of levels. As a kid, you go, oh, they got turned into cartoons. But as an adult, you go, oh, they've gone through a weird field of sports and now they've gone on a weird sort of, you know, dream sequence thing. And so it's got a much more adult joke in some ways. Did you try? Is, sorry. No, it's, which is quite fun. Yeah, did you try to match the visuals of the cartoon somehow? In yes. The... So in the animation, we were very clear that we wanted to make what would Isabella look like as Dora? older and so the same kind of basic 2d feel but to bring it into the 20 you know 2019 so to speak so it has much more depth and uh, dimension to it i guess and so it feels slightly more polished film like cinematic i guess but it has a very much based in the dora tradition of 2d animation rocks have eyes the world is alive right, right. <laughs> that kind of idea all right thank you so much my pleasure nice to meet you thank, thank you, you.